Hello and welcome to Pi Excellence Tutorials. Well, I've come with another video or question that I want us to solve together. And this question is coming from a tutorial sheet from the University of Zambia and it's under circular motion. Well, so a belt runs on a wheel of radius 44 centimeter. During the time the wheel takes to coast uniformly to rest from an initial speed of 1.6 rev per second, 29.5 meter of belt length passes over the wheel. Find the deacceleration of the wheel and the number of revolutions it takes while stopping. Wow. All right. So when I look at this question, um, the first thing is to, to look at what I've been given as my data. So what I have, I have the radius, which is 44 centimeter, of which I can convert as well right from here to meters, because I know I need to be dealing with standards of SI units. So I'm going to have 0 0.44 meters like that, all right? And during the time the wheel takes cost uniformly to rest, meaning the final angular velocity is zero. Uh, in this case, rev per second, because I've been given something in rev. And the initial is 1.6 rev per second all right and i've been given also the length which i can take as my arc length which is 29.5 meters passes over the wheel find the deacceleration so i need to find the deacceleration and also the number of revolutions all right so now how do i get the angular angular deacceleration or the deacceleration. So now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to first find the number of revolutions and then use the number of revolutions to find uh, the, the deacceleration of the wheel. So how do we get the angular, angular the number of this or angular displacement? So now remember that there is a relationship between the arc length and the angular displacement. So we have angular displacement being equal to arc length over the radius. So this is going to be 29.5 meters over 0 0.44 meters. So this is going to be going to give me 67.05 rad. So remember, the SI unit here uh, in rad, but I can see that what I was given, I've been given something in rev, like the initial speed was is in a rev per second. So I have to convert this one also to rev or revolutions. Actually, I've been asked the number of revolutions not right so i'm going to multiply by i know that one revolution is two pi rads all right so once i do that what do i get what i get is actually 10.7 10.7 so I've gotten the second question. Now I can use this to find the deacceleration now. So this, this um, the number of revolutions, it tends while stopping is this one we found. So now let's go to angular deacceleration. All right, so how do we get angular deacceleration? We have the, the equations of motion 
rotational motion, of course. So we have, um, we're going to use this one, final minus that initial being got two alpha that. That is the equation we are going to use. So we have this being equal to So we're going to have um, the final, it is going to rest. So it's zero minus the initial, which is that squared over two times 10.7, which we are just from finding. Wait. All right. So what we have, what we're going to have is going to be zero minus minus 2.56 over, uh, this is going to be, Rev. So I'm going to have negative when I divide. I'm going to have negative zero point one two rev per square second. So it is the deacceleration that is why we have the negative in front. Right, so this is not acceleration, but the, the acceleration. So the acceleration meaning it's just a, a retardation or the negative acceleration. So that is how you get to find uh, that question. So if you found this video to be helpful, kindly give me the reaction, like the video, love the video, give me comments, share with colleagues. If you've not yet subscribed, you can even subscribe to the YouTube channel give your friends the link so that they subscribe also to this channel so that we have a lot of you. Thank you so much uh, for your time.